Hello, welcome back to Pokemon Master Digit Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we went to this ridiculous cave, which I had to actually cut footage out of just to, just to make the episodes decent, normal length. And today, I've, um, well, I've already cleared up inventory, so today we're probably going to go to that ruins that we, like the sealed ruins, to, to, to take us exploration to see if you got anything that's interesting there. Oh, the Team Charm left already. Hey, did they say anything about coming back to Treasure Town ever? Oh, they never mentioned it. Aww. <laughs> this guy's totally the down, so not, let's not like him. Team Raider is another team that would be fantastic to me. They must be incredibly cool in person. Right, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Their inspiration team is even more famous than Team Charm. The most famous would have to be Team Raider. Team Raider is a legendary exploration team. The team consists of three members, Gallade, Roserade, and Riperion. They they're said to never be denied from getting the chargers that treasures the entire- blah, 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 blah. Good morning to you all. I heard you solved the mysteries of Aegis Cave. That's mighty great of you all. Thank you, somebody! That ain't talking about Team Charm or whatever. You- you literally are the most boring person ever. Okay. We've been exploring Zero Isle, but this that spot isn't for the faint of heart. You're making our team AWD look bad. Glory is ours next time. We found out Zero Isle is no ordinary place. Turns out that the island has several dungeons, each put restrictions on explorers in a unique way. Some places knock you down to level one temporarily, and others just prevent you. From, another prevents you from leveling up. You also not be allowed to take items in. You'll be restricted in some way or another with those dungeons. Huh. So it's not all the same. What about the mysteries of Aegis Cave? Uh huh. Yeah, I don't understand any of it. <laughs> I do wish that the women of Team Charm would come back again. Just once, I would love to meet them. Well, okay. If you say so. And you. You. Okay. I'm sorry I even bothered talking to you. So yeah, we're gonna go to the concealed rooms. I'm just going around talking to some peeps. Maybe they got something new to say. No, you you seem pretty much the same. As long as they don't become Missy Pokemon. That wasn't really funny. <laughs> no! Why would you say that? That it's just gonna be my job to save everyone. Why why would you why would you say that, Mr. Mime? <laughs> oh Sunflora. That team charm! Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Thinking about that makes me go, yes, well you you mm. Wonder Gummy is a very rare gummy found somewhere in the world. You know about the Wonder Gummy? The Wonder Gummy is a fantastic gummy. Now, if I remember correctly, Wonder Gummy is like it's a gummy that any character can eat, and they'll gain stats from it, and then something else happens. I forgot. Hey, I heard you two solve the mysteries of Aegis Cave. Impressive, huh? Say what? You want to earn some? Mo no. Did you want to pull Sentry Duty? No, I. I, I don't. I, uh, <laughs> you too. I hope you'll work hard. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. You want more funding? I got plenty in the bank. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like there's not really that much interesting to look at. So we're gonna go to the concealed ruins. I believe it's called. We not die because that would that would that would suck. Also, you know what? I haven't done enough of. I haven't gone to the beach much. For those uh, message in a bottle dungeon like requests. Hey, people actually come here? Okay. What, what's going on here? What are you suggesting? Me? Eat you? Are you kidding? You're my trusted partner. It's not replacing you. I'm trying to keep exploring like we've always done. Hmm? Why are you crying? Aww. Well, that's 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 cute. Okay. I mean, it's kind of weird, but it's 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 a sweet moment. <laughs> it's just kind of weird saying that, but it is. Raven, yeah. and then we're gonna go to the concealed ruins. So yeah, so we don't have to go here. I did check. We do not have to come here. I just, you know, I want interesting things to happen, and I don't want to take the same boring request just to pass the time. So we're gonna do the risky things. It's gonna end possibly terribly, but hey. You know what? That makes for good footage. <laughs> Ooh, the song. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do before recording? I 
forgot to friggin' like think of things to talk about. Because jeez. It's okay though. Um I had something in mind. I just ooh. So this video is not being recorded late for once. <laughs> and it's possibly the biggest lie I've ever given. Um <laughs> To be honest, I'm always recording these things late. Ugh. Uh, what was I thinking? Seriously, I had a thought and it's gone. It's just, it happens every freaking time. I have a thought for like two seconds and then bam, it's gone. But I just, eh, I don't know. Oh, I was noticing something though. When the story, when story finally does freaking happen. We are nearing the end of the post story, there isn't much left, so well, after the post story I will do the special episodes that you unlock by playing through the story. But I will do those when I'm done with this story. Something else is gonna happen. It's gonna be kind of nuts. From what I can tell. Also, I don't know if this place actually has any treasure or what. But you know what? It is a good thing we became full-fledged explorers, otherwise we'd probably be stuck, like, doing nothing but boring requests in the bulletin board. Nobody wants to look at those. Nobody wants to watch that. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing these cool little, little jobs. Uh, let's go here. So, if you haven't noticed when I'm playing through this game lately, I have been a lot more genuine. About what's going on and stuffs because I never made it this far in the game and wow that guy's brick. Well, I don't I didn't even get the hit on him, so I don't even know how to fish. What? You really? Double speed. Screw you. Burn! Pidgey, we, we got a Pidgey. It's like old Pokemon games where Pidgey's like one of the first Pokemons he gets. Uh, seriously, though, I'm not bringing you around. I was trying. I was noticing when I was looking through my inventory. There's a lot of orange berries. I had like six. I think it was because when I was arranging it for the unknown crap, I had picked up a lot of orange berries and they automatically got stored. So there was just an abnormal amount. But I had to fix all that. Okay, now if I'm serious. I was thinking about something and it's, um really not coming to mind. It's like on the tip of my tongue or something right here. It's just, ugh. Why? Why does this always happen to me? Seriously. It's just getting old. So I'm too lazy to use flamethrower. <laughs> okay, okay. I know, I should've just, I should've just used flamethrower to make that faster. I don't know. I'm just switching things up. I am curious to see what's at the end of here because it's not like the wiki tells me that, so... You know, it's whatever. Just gonna roll with it. Just gonna find out if there's actually any loot, or if, they, if it was all a lie, and I've been deceived. Which would be not new. That would not be new. I've been deceived many times in this game. Promised something fun, like Egg is Cave, and it wasn't fun. It was tedious and oh, I was. Also, this guy literally has a. Okay, can I just say something right here? Okay. This guy has this TM here, just sitting out here. No, I don't want to throw it, dang it! Shut up, Keek Leon, I'm just trying to prove a point here. What? It just makes no sense whenever there's, like, items right outside of their shop, because you could literally make money off of them. Because they, they're too- they just- they just leave them there, and they don't do anything about them. So I'll just leave those there. See? I made money! I don't even need to make money, but I do like keeping storage space, so I'm not going to just keep those. Guys, I'm not going to use them, probably. Mm, this... For real! I'm... I don't even know what to say about that one. Seriously, Loudred? You're as dumb as the Loudred in the guild. Actually worse. That's, that's kind of... A little difficult to do. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. I'm starting to get the impression that this is not where the stairs are. <laughs> they probably aren't. Trust me to go the wrong all the wrong directions first, 
to save the correct direction for last, just to lengthen the video. I'm not doing this on purpose. I swear, I don't know the dungeon layouts that well. I can't possibly be doing this on purpose. Look, there's another box. Let's go sell it to Keekleon. Also, because I I don't trust this large room anymore. Clearly, there are probably more traps than I've even found. So you know what? Here, that's an Umbreon over there. I'll go fight it in a moment. I mm, I didn't mean to throw it. Okay, fine, whatever, Katie. Trust you to pick a fight. Ugh, what the stupid traps and. Keekleon, I swear, did you put that trap there? Did you put that trap there? Just... Yo, right, that's something they do if you pay. And then I'll go over that way. Hmm. No, I just had a thought. We theoretically, theoretically, you could probably, like... If you ate a pure seed after placing something down or picking something up, it would have to warp to you to ask if you wanted to... buy it or... Uh sell it, but I'm not sure if that would work or if they would just call you a thief. I'm not entirely sure if that would actually work. Uh, this is probably going to be a really long dungeon. I probably should have thought this through. <laughs> oh, well. Me. Okay. Large rooms. Let's just try not to walk too much in the large rooms. Large rooms always have crap that you don't need. That includes actual stuff actual items that you just don't need and then like traps which is also something you don't need literally I've used it I've needed a trap maybe once twice perhaps to get myself out of monster house situations because those are full and I wasn't trying to go that way thanks controller for freaking out for just two seconds there hold on I forgot to set something holy it would it there. I always forget something when I'm recording. Anyway, back on the schedule. Ugh. Enough! Quit the sniffling in my nose and sorry, bumping my mic everywhere. Jeez. It's just not having my it's not having it today. I mean do I have it any day? Probably not. But you know, once one of these days I want to convince myself that I have it. And what is that? That is a golden berry. Place it. Do not throw it. You'll pay that much money. Okay, but what? Seriously, wh what is this? It's a citrus berry. It will slightly boost its maximum HP. Okay. I'm going to try eating it. I've got. Do I have the money, actually? That's much more important. Do I have the money to afford that on me? No, you know, I should start just bringing money to dungeons, because even if I faint, it's not exactly like I don't have more. Really, I have tons. So, note to self: bring money to dungeons this time later on, so they actually start selling useful stuff. Even the funds would be helpful for those situations. Yeah, I really. It's amazing how many good ideas I come up with when it no longer matters. Jeez. <laughs> mm, so, so this some um, game has been hyping up Team Raider, and I looked at the wiki and it says nothing about some team raider. I'm not sure if you can encounter them, if they'll just come to Treasure Town, if they're, um, what you call it, if there's somebody you encounter if you go to a specific dungeon, or if you do certain things. I have no idea what's the dealio with team raider because they clearly, I am trying to point diagonally, okay fine, I'm gonna be that way, fine. It's trying! Dude, that's why I could be flamethrower, but apparently that wasn't an option, so uh, never. Yeah, I'm not sure what up the what is with you know, Team Raider. A lot of talk for a character for a team that has shown their face. I mean, we only knew Team Charm was famous the day they arrived. Like, because we're terrible with news. Like, we we learn nothing about anyone that's important. We didn't know about Dusknor, and he was supposed to be famous. Uh, I need to eat an apple. Eat the apple. Honestly. Uh, but then suddenly Team Raider is somebody they're talking, some team they're talking about. 
and we actually, if they did show up, we'd actually know who the heck they were. Well, you know, if I could remember for two seconds who they're freaking, what they're, what, what Pokemon they actually are, but hey, it's whatever. The point is, we know their existence, and that's not normal. We normally don't know anyone, we're just clueless. Clueless son of children. Yes, I am going to make it every single time. I probably should just set it, but I'm too lazy to. Even though setting it would probably be the lazier thing. I don't know what I'm. What is with the hurl orbs? These things are really not that helpful. Because if you can't even use orbs, then you just you just can't use orbs. I don't understand why they have hurl orbs. They don't. They aren't that helpful. They th yes, they throw enemies across the screen. So do certain moves. It's not... You can't th use a hurl orb if you don't have a hurl orb. You can't use the move if you don't have the move. So it's just like, why? Like, do I really... Do I really need it? It's just, I don't know. This feels like one of those weird things. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Night of Queen. No! My gosh, I'm not having this again. Through level 64, finally a level up. That is weird because you don't level up much on camera anymore. <laughs> it's usually off screen where all the crap happens. And I. Thanks, Kate. Thanks for taking away a shot at actually hitting that. <sighs> this is mine, though. You're not doing anything with this. I'm technically, while I'm under the ground, Katie could use like razor leaf on me while I was underground because it would just probably pass over me, but I don't think that's a risk. I want to try and take, because you can disable it. You, there is a IQ skill where they will not attack if there is a teammate in front of them. You can actually let them do it, but I'm not sure how exactly it works. If you turn it off, do they do they just attack if, if like with the long distance moves, even if you're in the way, all the time or just some of the time? I just, I don't know. I don't mess with IQ too much. It's it's um it's not something I really think is a good idea to mess with. While getting your buttons to work correctly is definitely the thing to mess with. You just seriously. Fine. Oh, I fell asleep. That's great. Any day now. There you go. Do this. Okay, no. You know what? A Nido Queen would just use Earth Power. I know that much. I'm not stupid. <sighs> and then Katie just takes all of the kill steals. Really, Katie? Come on. Be, be a pal. Don't don't do that. Don't kill steal. It's not it's not cool. You're just wasting more. Um I don't like calling it PV, I like calling it move energy, is what I prefer calling it. And it just reminds me of, like, uh, pay to play games, uh, you know, like mobile games. That's the word. Ridiculous mobile games with the word, ruined the word energy for me, seriously. I'm gonna need to use a max elixir soon. You know, it's cool. Max elixirs, whatever. I've got a couple of them. Yeah, taunt, no. Taunt just makes it so that they can only use physical attacks, and honestly, I only ever have physical attacks, so... I don't see the problem here. 